Hi, this is Pragati and in today's video, I will be comparing a PhD in economics to a PhD in public policy. These two areas seem very interrelated and the eligibility criteria for the two areas is also very similar. Yet, these are two different departments and the research focus in the two departments is different. This video will discuss how. Again, as I mentioned in most of my videos, that this video is purely based on my personal understanding of the two departments and everything I say is in the context of I am Bangalore. Things might be different in other colleges and other institutions. A PhD in economics is purely econ focused and the research involves looking at everything through an angle of economic theories and uh, doing some economic evaluation of every topic they look at such as education economics, health economics, trade economics, behavior economics or environment economics. On the other hand, a PhD in public policy is more interdisciplinary and economics forms just one part of it. If I represent this using a Venn diagram, then a PhD in public policy will include sociology, law and other areas, while a part of it intersects with economics. If I go into further detail, then a PhD in economics will involve research in economic theories and methods, plus the applications of these theories and methods in public policy as well as non-public policy areas while a PhD in public policy will surround the economic evaluation of public policy through economic as well as non-economic angles. So ultimately, economic evaluation of public policy is where the two areas intersect. Let's take an example. Suppose you wanted to do your research in returns to education. Then a PhD in economics will involve questions such as formulating models to evaluate these returns or looking for issues in the existing models or looking for econometric methods to estimate these models and identify these models. And it can also have questions in the application area in public policy, such as evaluating the economic returns from an, from an education policy. For example, uh, you can look at the future income of children for whom the policy was introduced. And it can also have applications in the non-public policy area. Uh, one example being researching in how households decide about educating their children. Uh, this definitely has public policy implications, but, but, the, but this question can also help you understand other things about microeconomic theory and about human capital investment, say. A PhD in public policy will also include questions on the economic returns from an education policy, but it can also look at it through a non-economic perspective, such as what are the social returns from an, from an education policy, social returns being socialization or social integration. A coursework in PhD economics will offer a series on microeconomics, macroeconomics, econometrics, and game theory. Econometrics is common across both areas and PhD economics will also offer you other electives such as advanced econometrics, labor economics or behavior economics, depending upon the interest of the PhD students and the faculty. The coursework in PhD public policy trains students in methods and theories to evaluate public policy. It includes subjects such as public policy analysis, public administration, gender and economic development, applied research, and econometrics. These courses are mostly case-based and they help students learn how to identify a problem and how to design research to understand a problem. Also, if you are a student in one of these areas, then that doesn't mean that you are totally constrained in that area. If you are a student in economics, then you can definitely work with the faculty in the public policy area. And if you are a student in public policy, then you can definitely work with the faculty in the economics area. And you can also offer courses offered by both the areas. It's, it's not like that you have to do only the courses offered by your particular area. In case you have any other doubts, please feel free to drop a comment below. Hope this video helps. Thank you.